Hi, welcome back to Cardstock Modeling. I'm your host, Sam Miller. In this episode, we're going to continue our work on the O scale small wooden ice house, and this is a partial isometric view. The structure is comprised of a main building and an attached shed. This episode will focus on the front wall of the house, which also has the ice doors. To add relief to the wall, we plan to layer the siding. In order to do that, I've printed three copies of page two. That way we can cut two rows at a time and overlap them. Because I made the decision to add layers to give the wood siding relief, I'm going to go ahead and cut out and put on all the trim, plus this door layer, door layer three and door layer two. My idea is to put the trim boards on first, as well as the, the door layers. That way I've got guides when I put down the additional siding layers to give it some relief that they'll be lined up properly. So now I'm going to begin the process of uh, cutting out first the base layer. And each time what I do is I try to make at least two passes with a sharp blade, you can get away with a lot. Always, because I'm right-handed, I uh, want to keep my ruler and cutting side to the right of the saved piece. That doesn't always work. And what I'm going to do now is use my awl to put holes in where I'm going to scour the back side. And in this case, I had printed on this before, so don't be worried about that. I line those holes up. And scour that just once. The next thing you'll do is cut the outer edges of the front wall. Next, you'll want to fold the roof flaps that you've just scoured with two small rulers. Many times when you're cutting an inside corner, I'll take my awl and just put a little hole there, and that helps guide the, as you can see, it helps guide the blade, and it also gives you a, a feel of a stop point. I found that this Tombow double tip marker really works well when you're trying to color the edges of the paper. It has a, a larger tip, and, which I use most of the time, and a smaller tip. And by not cutting the paper the whole way, so if I can hold this, it gives me a chance, something to hold on to. And I'm using a gray um, N52. This is a gray N52. I can control, I'm an older guy, so I can control the edge of the paper better that I'm trying to color.
Next we'll cut door layer 3. And cutting out door layer 2, I'm going to go ahead and put punch holes at each corner as guides to cutting this. Now that we got the holes punched, we can uh, do a good job of cutting the edges here. When you're cutting, it's always a good technique to make multiple passes with light pressure on the blade. Okay, next. Next, we're going to cut the trim pieces into sections. It gives them a sense of realism. In preparing for gluing, I always make sure that this nozzle is cleaned out. In doing so, I'll use a needle Make sure it happens. Then again, I take a scrap piece of paper and just test the glue. Make sure it's running fine. And there it is. And there you have it. Next I'll glue the framing for the ice doors on top of the base door themselves. And here you want to make sure that the bottom frame, the frame of the bottom lines up with the bottom of the doors. You'd be surprised at the strength of Elmer's glue. That's why I just put dots at critical areas and it really does a good job of holding. Before pressing down on a glued surface, I always make sure that all the edges are lined up. There's a box that has some weight to it. Just set it down there. I found these plastic enclosures come in very handy. So where we've got the, the roof support I've cut out and got this section with the door hinges and some other light door trim on it, I'm going to put that in this box. Come back to it later and this way it doesn't get misplaced. The next thing I'm going to do to put the layered siding on is to cut out this door on both sheets and cut the trim off. So I'll end up with a hole in here and I'll explain later what the next step, what I do next. As I've shown before, I'll use the point of this awl to get a clean inside cut at all these points.
So then this I will save for later in case I need to build uh, the framing up anymore. So now let's check the fit of the siding we cut out to the master wall. Remember, we cut two siding panels out. And let's see how one lays over the other, just for kicks. That's not a bad fit right there. It's not going to be perfect, but... That's pretty good in itself. We'll have to trim, trim each of these slot just slightly on the edges, but it'll work. So in order that we can overlap the siding to give it a 3D look, the first thing we're going to do is cut the bottom one like that. We won't need it. And then we're going to cut two of it across. Coming to the base, remember which is the left side and which is the right side. This may seem laborious, but it's all in a journey, and hopefully you'll enjoy the finished product a lot better. I always make sure that this shadow is revealed of the underneath layer. I'm only going to glue the top board and that might give it a little realistic relief. We'll see. Put this layer aside, and that's going to that side. Come over here and figure out that's going to be there.
now that we put the additional relief siding on the front wall of the building, let's take a look. As you can see, it does add definition, giving it a third dimension. But one of the things I've noticed is, is we have to increase the, the thickness of the trim so it has some definition. To do that, I've cut out some additional trim pieces, as you can see here. And we will place them over top so we get better relief. And I just, I think one additional will be fine. So what that means is you'll have two layers on top of the original of that. Well, let's go ahead. Now, that's much better. The next step is to cut out the hinges and place those on the door trim. Printed at the base of the hinges are small lines that you'll cut out and then paste those where the hinge pins are. This adds additional relief to the hinge. After cutting out the hinges, next you're going to glue them. And what helps me for applying them is this type of tweezer. Okay, so let's take a look at the front wall now that we've got everything assembled for it. So we we completed the hinges, we got our extra trim, and we have the additional siding on there for a 3D effect. Have cut out the interior roof support. The next episode will construct the sidewalls. Let's take a look. Here's page three that we're going to work on the next episode, which is the sidewalls and details. Again, we'll be adding dimension with the siding. I took the liberty in Photoshop to add the word ice and fade it into the walls. I hope this episode has been helpful in showing you some details of how to make the building look a little bit more realistic. So until next time, enjoy the craft.